sad dog that's been missing for over two years. Here's voice he recognizes on the phone. Every dog owner has one fear. What if my dog goes missing? We love our pets so much that the thought of any harm coming to them is too much to bear. After all, our pets are like our family. As a pet owner, your dog getting loose is something you hope never happens to you. For Bosco's owner, however, his worst nightmare became true when Bosco, a beagle mix, managed to get himself loose one day and decided to go out and explore the world without his owner. Unfortunately, Bosco explored a bit too much and when he tried to return home, he realized he was lost and he had no idea how to get back. Bosco was scared and he was alone, but he knew he'd have to find a way to survive if he was ever going to be reunited with his owner in the future. So for 764 days, Bosco would wait at local restaurants in Rhode Island and he scavenged for food scraps in the garbage in order to eat enough food to survive. It's a sad fact, but Bosco's story isn't an isolated case. There are too many dogs that venture a bit too far out in order to explore and tragically become separated from their owners in the process. Thankfully, though, there are people whose job it is to help these dogs, like animal shelters. Nearly two years later, Bosco was hunting for food when he came across a delicious smell that he knew he had to try. As he approached closer and closer to the smell, Bosco was surprised that he found himself trapped in a cage with no way of escaping. Fortunately, these humans weren't looking to hurt Bosco. They worked for a shelter. After Bosco was safely at the shelter, these humans did some research and found out that Bosco's original owner, Bill Bellotto, had moved 2,000 miles away from Rhode Island to Colorado. So they arranged a video call so that Bosco could reunite with his owner online. Bosco and Bellotto were so happy to see each other, and Bosco loved hearing his owner's voice. After that first successful communication, the shelter began figuring out how to reunite Bosco and Bellotto. Bellotto was disabled, and so he couldn't make the trip back to Rhode Island. But then a shelter volunteer named Sheila Graham offered to help. Kind-hearted Graham drove 36 hours to reunite Bellotto and Bosco. She created a GoFundMe to help pay for the trip, and many people contributed. She also gave an update about the trip, writing, It was an amazing trip. Weather tried to stop us, and it was nasty. Nothing could stop our determination to bring him home. Thanks again for everything. To keep up to date with Bosco's continued journey, be sure to visit him on Facebook, Bosco's Journey Home. We'll be updating stories, photos, links about all this once time allows. For now, Bosco is acclimating well. Way to go, Team Bosco! Graham also created a Facebook page to document the dog's journey, and she shared photos of the reunion between Bellotto and Bosco. It's so beautiful to see how happy they both are. We're so glad Bosco is back where he belongs. Please share this story with your friends and family.